Probably already online. No, I'm not right now. Hey that guys, it's May May and my trusty sidekick. Oh, Vinny's here. That was such an Edna thing. <laughs> Hi, y'all. My fake smile. Yes, I was like, what in the world? You might be right. It might have it might have played us going. It looks like you might Christmas want to back me Christmas. out just a touch. <laughs> That's a big old head you got there. You know got me what? All jammed You've got to stop being laid down when I'm because setting your you camera. Like show this. show what you're like when I set your camera. Well, That's I how I set you. I know, but I can't sit like this. I'll go to sleep. <laughs> okay, where does it go? It goes here. I'm sorry, y'all. You got you got Vinny up close and personal. Okay, we'll keep him like that. Welcome in to Christmas in July, day one. Y'all, so much, so much this month. It's gonna be a crazy month. You can expect how many videos? It's about. It's a. I'm gonna round it up. It's about 50 videos this month. Did you hear the collective gasp? <gasps> I did. I heard it. About 50 videos this month, and we're super excited. You're going to get um, so much. And before I start this project, I want to tell you, because if you're not a person who watches the after show, I don't want you to miss out on what's coming. Okay? So the first thing I want to tell you about is the one that starts today. This starts tonight. This series is called Dashing Through the Stamps. If there's one thing you guys ask me for more than anything, it is inspiration for stamping. You want to see us use all our stamps, right? So we pulled every single Christmas and holiday and even winter stamps that we have, and we are filming one video with each one. Now, it will go longer than July, but in July, we have a video a day going up, starting tonight at 6 p.m. They are the most fun videos. Tamitha has knocked it out of the park. They are music and our process you're not going to hear us talking there's no way we could have filmed full talking tutorials and get that done but you're going to watch the process as we do it it's just for inspiration every video will have who's doing it so you'll know and it's every single level of card maker you can imagine from total beginners to me I'm, i guess i'm the only one who's made longer than anybody here so, like, it's Brenda, it's Taylor, it's Shannon, it's me, it's Kim Dixon, it's Tamitha. I called her out, now she has to do it. <laughs> Tamitha's already doing it, but we're so excited. So, you're going to see every kind of level. Every night, 6 p.m. Hey, G. I'm so excited for G's series. Give, give me one second, I'm going to talk about yours. But every night, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, okay, on YouTube right here, just go, just make sure you're subscribed and click the little bell so it'll give you a notification every night when it goes live and you're going to have so much fun. Just the Christmas music, just the feel. Oh. How much do we love watching, Brenda left, how much do we love watching them? They're fabulous. We love watching those videos, so we're excited. So check that out, Dashing Through the Stamps this whole month, every day this month. The other collab, well, let's talk about Garris real quick, okay? Garris, um Instagram, Garris, please put your Instagram name in because I want to make sure I say it right. Put your Instagram name in because I think I know what it is, but I don't want to say it wrong for people who are listening. He is doing a Christmas photo a day. So his Instagram is going to be Christmas themed. And I love when he does that because I love to see Christmas in my feed. But I'm already seeing it everywhere, right? Um, so look, Miss, Miss Johnson, ringy dingy. She's got hers ready. Um, that bus just ran over me, damn it, said. Y'all, I'm squinting because I'll tell you about my eyes. I'll tell you about that. You see Brenda? <laughs> Did y'all see Brenda in the background? She was look. waving. She's there. There's Brenda. She's over there. <laughs> Okay, it's Acorn and Oak Craft. Acorn and Oak Craft on Instagram, and he's doing a photo a day for Christmas. Please go watch. The other collab we're bringing you is The Joy of Christmas. This is Melody and I. We're doing a video each. So you get two videos on Saturday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. I just realized I'm putting those up at the same time. It's okay. 6 p.m. Central Standard Time on Saturdays. Every Saturday in July, we are focusing on the joy. So the joy of Christmas. We're using the joy machine and we're making projects using the joy. You guys have asked us and asked us for that. If you're interested, if you like this series and how it goes, let us know and we'll do uh, Maker Christmas. I think that's what we're going to call it. We'll do another collab. But Melody Lane is Cricket Queen. You have to go subscribe to Mel, okay? Subscribe to her, ring the bell so you can make sure you get notification when she goes live. She does more than that video, so you'll get more than that. Now, I already know the question, so let me just answer it. 
Does this, is this the only time we'll be uploading? No, these are bonus videos. The ones you just saw are bonus. My regular schedule stays the same, okay? Unless something happens, my regular schedule stays the same. The only thing we will be changing is two live shows are gonna change. So put your, mark this on your calendar and we'll put this in a newsletter we're gonna send out later this week. Thursday the 8th, which is next Thursday, we are doing a live show at night. Okay, next Thursday, we'll do a live nighttime show. It will start at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Then you put that on your calendar. Yes, I heard. Then the 22nd is when we want to do our next nighttime live at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. At this point in time, I don't know if I'm replacing, like I don't know if I'm just moving the morning show down tonight. I'm not sure yet, but just know those two nights we're having a live show. I don't know what they're going to be. I don't know what they're going to consist of. Just mark your calendar. You guys have been asking for nighttime live. We're going to do it. Um, this afternoon at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, whatever's left for Craft Acropolis goes live. And the reason I say that is we pre-sold entire event bundles. So people that wanted to buy the entire event have been calling in since yesterday, buying the entire event. So what's left will go live at 3 p.m. this afternoon. I say that because I don't have any idea what's left. I just don't know. So. We don't um, huh? We don't sell. We don't sell. That's the girls up front. They're doing it, so we don't know what's left. That's at 3 p.m. That website that you'll want to go to purchase that is maymayevents.com. Um, what else did I need to tell them today? Because it's Christmas in July. i got to tell you everything. All right, that's our collab. That's our nighttime videos. That's our Thursday switch. We've had about five people. You guys are so keen. We've had about five people. Oh, no, the account that G is using is all things autumn, fall, and winter. The account G's doing his um, Christmas pictures on is on Instagram, all things autumn, fall, and winter. And there's an underscore under all things autumn and fall. Sorry about that, said that wrong. So we've had some people ask about the Tuesday show because um, it's kind of funny. People are thinking that we changed it like it's all changed for months and it's been changed. No. The last two Tuesday videos, I moved to 6 p.m. uploads because I wanted to see how that would go. And it goes very well. It gets very good response. And I'm very happy about that. That won't permanently change in July. That will permanently change when we come back to our regular schedule. In July, you'll still get your Tuesday 1 p.m. and your 6 p.m. Um, dashing through the stamps. So that won't change until August. But in August, I'm going to bring out a whole new schedule change and let y'all know what it is. All right. We have a, a Bailey watching. She's nine years old. Hi, and Bailey. She's watching today. So everybody say hello to Bailey and welcome her in. Bailey, this is a good craft for you today. You'll enjoy this one. I'm going to show y'all how to make this little tea treat um, tag holder. Let me show you. It's tea bags in here. Let me show you what the tea bags are. I love these teas. Love them. Do y'all see that I even, I even got Christmas teas. I got to tell y'all how to do it. In the description below, I put a link to these guys because they're so delicious. Let me move this. They're so delicious. And here's here's the ones. You can buy them in a four pack on Amazon. They're not expensive. They're fantastic. Some of them are um, caffeine free. This one, this one. Oh, these are all Ooh. caffeine free. Yes, makes I me happy. Tea. We'll be having these up. Now here's what I want to caution you on, okay? They are not individually wrapped. Sometimes you can find it individually wrapped, but I was trying to hurry and get some Christmas themes for the projects I'm doing this month. So I want to show you, they come like this, okay, and they come in here in little bags. So what I do, what I did for this time, is on Amazon, you can get these specific size food grade zipper bags, okay? I've put the link in the description, so they are food grade, they're safe. So I put four bags in here. So this is four T's, okay? And then it's going to, I did not um, tape it in because I wanted to show y'all before I taped it in. So let's make this guy, I'm gonna show you how I did it. Super cool, super fun. All right, you're gonna start with a piece of cardstock. Are we ready to move on? I think we are. Yeah. Start with a piece of cardstock. This piece is 11 by four, 11 by four. What you wanna do is you wanna score at five, trying to do it from memory, but my notes are right there that Shannon made for me. Five and a half and six, okay? So that's your score marks, five, five and a half, and six. There they are. You can kind of see them there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to fold these. Now here's something you need to do. 
we're going to be putting this into our die cutting machine. So this section we're folding down here, we're just going to do a mountain valley fold real quick. You need to crease this really snug, okay, because we don't want to create bulk in our die machine. So I folded that five inch over this way. Now I'm going to take my five and a half inch score and fold it backwards and doing the same thing, line up your sides, make sure everything's nice and straight, crease super tight, super tight. Then I'm going to take that six inch score and fold it back the other way, lining everything up. So this is creating, let me show you, this is creating our gusseted bottom. See how I've got that little bottom down there? That's what we're creating, okay? So now you want to take your die. Now the die I'm using, we tried to be so ready for this, right? The die I'm using is this one, the nested stitch tag number three dies is what I'm using. And I'm using two dies from it. I'm using the biggest one and the next one. Um, one, yeah, so I'm using the biggest one and then this one right here, okay? So let's cut this. Let's Bailey's little sister, Kiki, is also watching. Hi, Kiki. They're watching what with a, their grandma. I love your names. Great names. Bailey and Kiki. So cute. Okay, so let me show you the trick. Here's the trick of this. Um, Shannon's got me some tape here. I told her, I said, with these nails, I might not be able to get it off there. I did. Yay. Try not to take it down hard. This is where I usually like to keep my tape. Y'all, I'm going to show y'all up here. That's where I usually like to keep it because I can get to it. All right. Christy says she has three granddaughters watching her today. That's so but, cool. Everybody's out of school. You're their favorite. <gasps> Thank you guys. Tell me their names so I can say hello to them, please. That's Kiki and... Oh, I thought it was three more. No, this is the same same person. Kiki, Bailey, and... They hadn't told us what the we'll third name is. All right, so this was a, a strange choice, the pink and the red, but you're going to be able to see what I'm doing. I'm going to place this die on here. Now, notice it's too big. It is. I don't want to have to fight. I don't want to have to cut just the right size and fight it, so I just did this. What you want to do is line this up so that the end of your die hangs off. What that does is it'll keep it from cutting through. We don't want to cut through the bottom. We just want to cut three sides, okay? So I'm going to come down here and do that with my tape. And the, for me, the best thing is to just press that down at the end like that. Just press it to the bottom and then take your tape and put it on. These would be easy to mass produce. And to be honest with you, if you do have a electronic cutting machine, you could totally do this with a die. I mean, with a die, with a tag um, shape. And you'd have, to, you'd have to build it and all that kind of stuff. Um, but you could totally do it. All right, so I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine. And sometimes... Here's something I like to do. When I'm remember, at the bottom of this die, we're putting one, two, three, four layers through. Okay? So at the very bottom, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let it just go past. I'm trying not to shoot it out the other side. So just go past, and then I'm gonna bring it back through. Just to give that an extra cut on the bottom. You didn't have to do that because I did it both ways today and it worked, but I like to do it just to get a good cut through on the bottom. And Reagan is the other young lady watching. And Hi, she is Reagan. Five. Oh, and she's five. I hope you are having a great summer so far. All right, so check this out. It, and I want to show you this. It's going to look like it doesn't cut through. Can you see that? But watch. It did cut through. It just looks like it doesn't. Because I went, oh, no. Me and Shannon were doing the test. I went, oh, no, it didn't work. But it did work. All right, so now you're going to take the... Is this the negative space? No, I guess we're actually using the negative space on a die, huh? This would be the positive space. I don't know. Take this part off, throw it away. <laughs> you don't have to throw it away. You can throw it in a bin. Then you want to take your tape off and stick that back on your cutting machine because you can use this about 37 times. I'm not even kidding. This yellow tape changed that's my that's world. Like, that's like four times. So it's changed our world, hasn't it, Shannon? Yes. It is the greatest tape. And I stuck you some on your desk. I know. I have some I here in case my nails didn't work. I saw you did that. She's so good. All right. This guy, save for the next time. So look what we did. We did that. Isn't that cool? Not groundbreaking. You've seen it before probably. But it worked out really cool for this little treat. So now your tea will fit in there. And it kind of even looks like a tea bag. Let's decorate. So here's what I did. I took some green. I'm going to show you the paper pad I used. Okay, I used the dots and stripes. This is what I love, Christmas in July. But look, this is the all, this is the fall dots and stripes. So I used fall dots and stripes and got this green because it was perfect for what I was doing. I also used this blue color here, and I'll show you that in a second. 
All right, so this guy gets glued directly down. You can do with the white dots. What did I do? I didn't do, yeah, I did. Do the white dots or you can do the more solid. I'm gonna do the white dots. So, ooh, my glue's almost empty. Ooh. ooh, almost went to the wrong side. I need to refill this stuff. All right, and I'm gonna glue this directly down to the top. So this is what I love about the nesting. Isn't that cool how it just nests together? It just needed a little something. It just was a little too red at first. All right, now, the stamp set that I used um, is, did you get that fixed for me, Shannon, this morning with Sylvia, do you know? Um, I think it just has to be put onto the site. Okay, so that's a Taylor thing? Yeah. Okay. All right, the stamp that <coughs> I'm using is cinnamon it's called sentimental this is one that shannon did we thought it was so cute she was like we we're trying to think of the um sentiments and she went oh something sentimental and i went oh sentimental so we did it with cinnamon so i'm using the the glass or the this is a special kind of cup it has a name y'all probably know but i'm using this little glass or this little cup and what i did was i stamped it on that blue polka dot paper isn't that cute and this is going to be on the front of our card now i want to show you a trick First off, I want there to be tea in the top, but I don't want to have to fussy cut. I don't want to have to paper piece. So I'm gonna take a brown marker and color tea in. All it does is make it look like the tea is just another piece of um, cardstock. Do remember, if you're gonna do this with alcohol markers, like I am, use the right ink. I did not use the right ink, but do you do the right thing. <laughs> I'll do the wrong thing. You do the right thing. I can't remember which marker I used. Give me a moment. I do not remember which one it was. Was it this one? No, it was not this one. Was it this one? Yep, this one. Okay, 485, and here's what I'm doing. I want this guy to have some dimension, but I don't want it to look like I've colored it. I'm not looking for that. This, is, this color is just slightly darker than this paper, and I'm just going to hit it in the spots where it would give it some dimension, give the glass some dimension, I don't even know if you'll get to see it. You can kind of see it. It just gives it a little bit of more roundness, so it's not quite so flat. All right, so just at the handles, and then at the bottom, I'm doing it on either side here. And you don't have to be perfect with this. You don't even have to do this. I just like to give it a little bit of dimension. And if you want to come out further to really make your cup rounder, you can. I mean, just barely. Let's see if y'all can even see it. Maybe. It's hard to see that kind of stuff on camera. Um, then we're going to pop this guy up right here. I'm trying to stay on time today. I feel like I am. Because we have to leave the after show a little bit early because of the um, Craft Acropolis going live at 3. All right. Foam squares. Y'all, she, she y'all hear yawn? She's over there yawning. I'm tired. She had a she had a sick kid last night, so she was up pretty pretty late. All right. One more in the middle. Pick up. And the bunch of foam squares. Well, I use the little ones. The baby ones. I normally wouldn't do that. The baby ones. I'm gonna make noise if y'all don't talk. Yes, yes. I think we're all a little tired, really. Probably. All right, this, I put a little off to one side, anywhere like that, doesn't matter how you do it, how you wanna do it, you do it. Now then, this, this is the sentiment I'm using. It is so cute. Wishing you all the flavors of this delicious season. Isn't that cute? I love that. We're gonna fussy cut. So while I'm fussy cutting, I'll tell you something. Went to the eye doctor yesterday and she's trying something new. I told her that I've gotten it's new to, the, to you. It is new to me. It's not new to y'all. But I've told her that I've gotten to where I keep my glasses on the top of my head 90% of the time now because I've got my eyes are over 40, well over 40. <laughs> Even she said it to me. She said, You got over 40 eyes. And I said, uh, Doc, I've got almost over 50 eyes. She said, I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> but um, I told her I'm just not wearing my glasses and they've just kind of become an ornament on top of my head. And so she's trying the one contact thing where you do one contact on your eye that 
is your dominant eye and then you don't have anything in your other eye. So I'm getting used to it. And so I told Shannon this morning, fussy cutting was a little rough because it, it like it'll, my eyes kind of cross up a little bit and I get a little blurry for a second, but it comes back. So that is my little sentiment. Let's put some foamies on it. Now, because you popped up the cup, you only need foam on the ends of this because we're going to kind of stagger across the cup. So I'm going to do my little foamies like this, and then I'm going to put a little um, art glitter glue in the middle. It is now on the site. What is Taylor got it on? The, oh, the SVG? The SVG for Okay, stamps. that's what I was asking her about. Did we get the mm -hmm. SVG? We went to use the SVG for this stamp set, and it wasn't there. And so Taylor has put the SVG for this. So if you don't want to fussy cut, fussy cup your cut. If you don't want to fussy, fussy cut, cut your, your cup, cup, you can use the SVG for that. And there's videos on my channel showing you how to do that. All right, now let's put um, our, our um, tea in. Now, you can decide how you want to do this. I don't know. I, I'm not going to tape ours in. Let me tell you why I'm going to tape it in. Because we will probably drink this over the season. <laughs> so if I tape it in, our sample, it just kind of gets wasted. But I would probably run a piece of, like, double-sided tape right here and then stick this like this and then close this up. I wouldn't even bother with closing this section up. I wouldn't, because if the person who gets it wants to open it, they can. But what's cute is, if after the person uses it, they can use this as an ornament on the tree or whatever. And another thing you can do is back here, cut another one of those nesting dies in a white or in a different color, and then you could put your sentiment on the back too, which would be really cute. So let me show you how I closed it up. Pretty easy. Bead threader. There it is. I knew I brought it back over here. I'm going to use my bead threader, and for this particular one, I'm using this thinner twine. So I'm going to cut that out like so. These are the wrong scissors every time. All right. Fold it in half because I'm going to slip knot it. That way, if somebody wants to open it, they can. I'm not going to tie it in a knot. Now, the one thing about these dies you have to know is this is a very small hole, and it's right close to the edge. If that makes you nervous, is my um, crocodile over there, the pink candle? Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. One thing you can do is make that a little bigger if it makes you nervous. It, I did it earlier and it wasn't a problem, but you can flip your little um, crop it out over and cut that hole a little further and it won't hurt a thing. See, I just cut it a little further and made it a little bigger. And then you can just stick this through like so. Grab your folded twine, like pull the that. fold through. G it has nicknamed me Shanna Doodle. Shanna Doodle is cute. Shanna Doodle. He wants to know if you want him to help make some videos. Oh my goodness, that would be great. We could have some G videos. That would be great. We'll, we'll get, get with you, you after after this today, G. <laughs> oh gosh, the more people. That's awesome. Okay, so check this out. I just slip knotted it so if somebody could open it if they wanted to, and then I'm going to show you how to make the bow. Listen, we're going to cheat this bow, and you're going to be happy. <coughs> We gonna cheat it, y'all. Okay, so here's how I do my bow. I'm gonna take this twine. Okay, nothing's in the screen. I was trying to clean the screen. I'm gonna take this twine, okay? I'm gonna lay it across my four fingers, leaving this piece down here, leaving it at the end of my pinky. I'm gonna wrap this around once, twice, three times a bow. Oh, I'm gonna do it four times. Three times a bow. Okay. I want it a little bigger. So I'm stretching my fingers to make that happen. All right, now here's the trick, okay? You want to cut one end down here and one end up there because you want your ribbons to lay in a certain way. I know, it's just overkill. You don't have to do it. I didn't do it on my first one. But I'm just telling y'all. I tried to tell y'all the right stuff. Telling y'all the right way to do it. Trying to tell y'all. Then you're going to take this off your fingers and you're going to bring this together just like so. See how we have the makings of a bow? See that? And you can even twist this if you want in the middle like this, and then take your tweezers and squeeze the middle. Let that sit for a second. And for those of you that have not been here a long time, she realizes that those are correctly pronounced tweezers, but somebody in this room spelled them tweezers. <laughs> somebody labeled the box one time tweezers, and it's been tweezers ever since. Everybody knows. All right, so you feed this underneath, come to the middle and make a knot. Easy peasy. One knot. I mean one half a knot, now a whole knot. 
Okay, then what I'm going to do is put one to one side and snip it, and one to one side and snip it. And that is your cheater bow. Now, why would I do this? I'm using the, the thinner twine, and I like my bows to look a little thicker, and I don't really want to tie a four-piece bow. A four-piece bow sounds like four-piece chicken. I don't really want to tie a four piece, so that's how I did it. But you'll see that it looks better up here when it's bigger with this little um, flimsy, flimsy twine. All right, glue. And here's the thing. I'm gluing it down a little low. The reason I am is because I want that slip knot to be able to be used if the recipient wants to do that or if you need to open it in some way. And then place it on. Squish it into the glue. It's completely openable if that's how you want to send it. And then I did one last thing, and that was glossy accents, or do we have this in stock? Or crystal glaze. If our shipment came in, yes. The reason I say or is because this is crystal glaze. I grabbed the first thing I could reach. This is crystal glaze that I used on that one. See it? Crystal glaze, we have 31. Okay. Hmm. That ever happened to you? Glossy accents, we have two. Is that Joe or so? is it one of our kids that have our no. number or something? That's Just weird. Yourself. I've had that happen to us before, but it's been a while. All right. I took the T out because this needs to lay flat if you're going to glossy accent it. <laughs> <laughs> Ask us how we know. Is that what you're laughing at? Yeah. Ask us how we know. If you look really close in the thumbnail, <laughs> you'll see how we know. Yeah. So. I tried, I literally tried to edit it out, which is funny. I tried to do some photography, fancy footwork to get rid of it. All right, so, glossy accents. Why is my bottle? Connie said you talking about a four-piece made jet want Chicken. Uh, a ten-piece. A ten-piece nugget? Yeah. Oh, my brothers used to eat those 20 pieces. Y'all remember those 20 pieces they used to? Did they still do that? That's what Brad feeds. Did they still do it? Yeah, they still have like, they have these like bigger meals. You can get like family pack things now uh, at McDonald's. Hmm. They're 20. Um, my brothers my husband loves used to get a chicken. large fry Fresh and a 20 piece nugget. That was back in the day when they only did it at certain times. And we would, they'd go home and they'd have a movie that they'd watch and eat those nuggets. And when it was over with, they'd just be rolling on the floor in pain. But they were going to eat every one of them. They could, too. They could just eat them. My boys can eat them. I remember on a Texas trip, remember that, Vince? We had to stop in, Tuscaloosa, stop in Tuscaloosa for them to get McDonald's. And they all got 20-piece nuggets. And by the time we were to Meridian, they were well, miserable. I remember when y'all were coming back from um, Alabaster one day and our Calera and they wanted Chick-fil-A and they told you to get the, the 60, catering tray. The 60 piece nugget catering tray and the three of them split it. They ate it. Yeah. Oh, it's just crazy. Terrence crazy. says they have a 50 piece now. McDonald's does? That's crazy. I mean, I, I love McDonald's food. Oh, I love it. I cannot eat it. It makes me miserable. All right. Lori is, wants to know what's the difference between the crystal glaze and the gloss accents. The maker. The maker. <laughs> nothing. There's no difference. I was going to show you this. Do you see how this looks cloudy? This one looked that way too when we did it. Like it, that's, they, they both clear. look the same and they both dry the same. To me, um, it's probably going to be price and, and what you get. Like, well, let's see. This is 50 mil. This is 1.7 ounces. This is two ounces. It's, they're literally the same. All right, there you go. That's your tag. This tea smells divine. Are y'all smelling it? This one's sugar cookie, I think. Is this sugar oh. cookie? Now yeah. I want a cup of tea. Sugar cookie. Just wave it at you. It smells like a sugar cookie. It does. It smells real good. We did get a question. Roberta Dunn says, will you put the name of the flavor of tea on the plastic bag? Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, if you want to do that or put it on the back if you want to, like if you do the little other piece. You can put it on the back and let people know. Um, and in the comments, I want y'all to tell me which one would be the tea you'd want. Let me put them here so you can see them. In the comments, I want to hear what tea is the tea you'd pick. I personally would want the gingerbread spice. What you got? Personally. Huh? Cookie, uh, Sugar cookie, candy cane, uh -huh. cherry vanilla, and gingerbread spice. I'm probably going to go gingerbread spice. 
All those sugar cookies, tempting me. I bet that candy cane, though. If you think about peppermint tea. I'd like to have the candy cane. Yeah, Brenda says candy cane. You don't have a mic on, so I'm going to repeat Ooh, I bet cranberry thing. vanilla Wonderland would be good, too. Ooh, Did I say cranberry or cherry? Did I, uh, cranberry I think you vanilla. said cherry. It's cranberry vanilla Wonderland. Yeah, we'll let you know, because we're going to try. <laughs> we love hot drinks. Yes. Um, we had somebody come in today to the store, and we were telling them that we started Christmas in July today, and they're like, do you have Christmas music playing? And I'm like, why do we not? Why do we not? All right, guys. The first Christmas in July project. I'm excited. Who's excited? I did a poll last night to see, because I know it's not everybody's favorite thing. But I will tell you this. If you're a person that celebrates Christmas and you're a crafter, you need your inspiration early so you can make it for the next few months. That's, that's why I always loved when the stores had stuff early because I'm, I'm a maker of things, so I wanted to make it for the season. So that's why we do Christmas in July. We love it. And listen, just like the other day, somebody said this and they were so right. I put out a joy video on Tuesday, a, a Cricut joy video, and somebody said I wasn't going to watch this video, and then I learned a tip in there that's going to change my change my crafting going forward and that's the whole point of my videos you never know what tip you're going to learn or what you're going to see because i have to title them something they have to have an overarching title but you never know what's going to be inside of the video so yeah you with us there bud or are you tired oh, yeah. after dinner after lunch no i'm good he done he tired after lunch tired. see i can't feed him before I mean, I'm and tired, i can't feed him after but you know i don't think it's because of lunch i'm tired but it's not too much all right, guys, we're going to jump out of here and head to the after show where we can talk about whatever we want to talk about. So if you got questions or anything there, we'll do that. We need to get through that one kind of quick so that we can put the Craft Acropolis stuff live today. Thanks so much for being here for this live show. Um, has anybody linked? I'll wait till the link for the after show gets in there. I will wait. Um, the link for the baggies and the link for the tea are in the description of this video. I already put them there. Thank you for asking. They are there. They are my affiliate link for Amazon, so those are down there. And just so you know, if you're looking for Christmas treats to start early, Amazon's got some. I ended up buying a bunch to use for projects I'm going to do for this month. They've got candy canes. I bought Christmas cocoa that's in Christmas containers, peppermint sticks. You'll see them throughout the month because we're going to be using them. So they've already got some Christmas stuff if you're looking for something. So They can click the link there in there already. All right, there's the link to the after show.